All right, Marketeer of the Week. We're here. This is a twist on the Marketeer. Paramount came out with a killer show. Have you? Are you? Are you? Three, up to speed? No, three seasons or four seasons? I think it's four seasons. Four seasons. Clearly, you're I, not. I'm. I am up to speed. I believe. Hmm. Yellowstone. If you haven't seen this show, you've got to check it out. Got to check it's it incredible. out. Incredible. Uh, I'm not big on like getting wrapped up into shows. This is an easy one to get wrapped into. What? C- CNBC you reports. You love getting wrapped up into shows. Billions. Billions. Another Curb great your enthusiasm. one. Enthusiasm. Well, Curb's an all, all time can, great show. We can keep. I mean, come Succession, on. We one. can. <laughs> these are all these are all my kind of shows. All right. Yellowstone boom pit. This is CNBC boom pits lifetime Montana residents against wealthy newcomers. I so love it. Yellowstone Paramount's hit streaming show, which you now can get on Peacock, mm-hmm. has given rich city slickers an idea of what it would be like to become a real life baron of the wild west. I gotta agree. They're with this. gangsters, though. I mean, Dude. there's murder. There's so much murder. I don't so, even know if there's enough people left in Montana. Like they've killed everybody. The Montana everybody. residents hate this show. I don't blame them. It goes them. on to say that this is this it's is like not murderous. Depicting Bozeman. This They're is like not how it is. They're like running through like yeah. dry like you, you watch yards the show and is, people being shot and then moms are being. It's like t- and then there's kids and no awesome. parents. It's ingre- incredible. It, and, then someone, you got, and then you got the sister Beth walking around nudie, all drunk. She loves her out, liquor. Shout out to Beth. I mean, she's a badass I mean, and she loves her booze. You said she's 47 in real life. In real life. I mean, damn. Keeping right? it together for sure. For sure. I bet so, you she hasn't had any children. So, um, I don't know. I have to look that up. We'll but have to Google that. Google that, Bobby. Not living in, in Montana. I understand where the residents are like, this is, you know, some of them are like, this is trash. This is not depicting yeah. the, the thing at all, right? But um, if you don't live there, you got to love the show. It's, it's just intense. It's, well, again- The drama is yeah, insane. I mean, so anyways, it's, it's, all, it's a made up show. I love it. What I will also say is that I've never been to Montana, and do you want to go now? I I said to my wife, I just want to stop doing everything I'm doing and live on a ranch in Montana. No, you don't. Oh, I, I mean, but that's the way. That, first the, of all, that's bullshit. The beauty of you're gonna get on a horse. The beauty, yeah. Really? I'm horseback riding with my daughter now. Seriously? It, it has made me want to flies, do things I've never wanted to do. Flies are around horses. Like, yeah, you're gonna, you're I want to do the unfly horse. Gonna, are you going to, good luck. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to, so, you're going to, you're going to brush it? You're going to brush the horse? Eh, I want it ready and I'll just jump on it, you know, and go. Jump on it. Okay. This is, Saddle so that's going to be our next, that's going to so, be our next field trip. <laughs> but my point is. Jump on it. The show, horse? the beauty of the ranch that yes. they're filming from. Most of it is filmed in the West, most in Montana, mm-hmm. according to this article. Okay. Yeah. The beauty of Montana makes me want to visit for sure. Visit for sure. I'll give you that. You know? But it's also, you know, like CNBC's reporting, it's also made people want to just get out of the cities. They reference somebody from Atlanta or any of these big cities. Mm-hmm. Get out of the city and take their life there. So, this show, you use it to your advantage as an agent. Maybe some of the residents don't like it, mm-hmm. but it's brought so much more awareness. From 2010 to 2020, Montana, which is the eighth smallest state due to population, grew 9.6%. Well, it sounds like they're not happy okay? about that growth, this, though. This isn't the first time a show or a movie has done something like this. In the 90s, early 90s, 91, 92, a river runs through it. This is a Brad uh, Pitt movie. I mean, do you know the movie? Dude, I don't know the he's movie. Hot. Forbes reports that was that when Brad was at like his prime. Prime Brad Pitt years, yes. early nineties. Forbes report that reports that back then fly fishing blew up by over sixty percent. I don't doubt it. What was he was out there fly fishing with the t shirt off, or I, what was he doing? Just, you just do you remember? I mean, all of it was great. Maybe you can find a clip, Bobby. We can see Brad. Oh, he out was. There that's when and like like he like licks his lips real good. Yeah, mm-hmm. lick lick. Lick lipping no, no, no. Brad Pitt out there fly all. fishing. Now I've got no desire to fly fish. It looks like it never looks like you're doing anything. You're just like, you know, you're always working the rest. Well, but that's kind of what you're doing when you're on a ranch, too. Yeah, you're just never you're doing like whipping anything. whipping things. Anyways, use it to your advantage. There's a lot of beauty in the show. There's a lot of death, mm, but there's there also is, a lot of beauty. It's not de- it's murder. That can attract people. It's murder. It's it's Shine day light it's like, it's like, on the it's show. Like, it's like good fellas, the area. but they're like out on a ranch. I love it. It's amazing. Holes are being uh, dug. Love, love to know if you're an agent from Montana, has it helped your business? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you using it to your advantage? 
Uh, are there ways that you've used Ooh, it in your market? So that's what you do. That so pull out your equity in your house and buy up some Airbnbs in Montana. Yeah, that's it's very expensive. Move. Obviously, you that's know, and that's the, the other thing that local residents are not happy about. They're getting priced out of their lifetime homes. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you are an agent, you can help. You know, the affordable housing problem, which is a problem everywhere. Obviously, you'd be a big hero there as well. All right, that's what we got. I like it. I'm going to try to get the arm back on my bobblehead. I think you already uh, have. And maybe I'll tap into some of my PPP now. That's been long spent. Love to hear your thoughts on all mm -hmm. of that. Keep it real, guys. We'll see you next week. See you later. Hey, guys. Appreciate you checking out this episode of The Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on The Real Word YouTube.